send them see last time we we'll troubleshoot a system HP H100 XFF that is more form factor and we did troubleshooting on the display problem of the system and finally we found out that the RAM was the problem today I have with me a Dell desktop system Optiplus 755 let me only so that we'll see the problem of the CPU first of all connect the VGA cable of the monitor to the system Then you connect the mouse, also the keyboard. So these are the. Then finally the the power cable. You connect it to the system so that the system will power. So these are the four necessary things you need to connect to the system or the computer while troubleshooting it. So the computer is on now but it's not displaying as we can see on this monitor the monitor has a standby light actually showing that the system isn't transferring information to the monitor with this yellow light the system is on which we can see but it's not transferring information to the CPU to the monitor I mean look at the light the system is showing it's showing an orange light normally Dell systems once it starts showing an orange light there is a problem with the system it actually has to show a green light showing that the system is ready for work then in this case there are several things which will make system not to display last time we talked about the RAM the RAM of the system was faulty and that's why the system wasn't displaying power pack also can be a problem why the system is not displaying because when the voltage which the power pack has to supply is not enough for the system it might affect the display part of the system processor also can also affect system so it won't display capacitors found in the board of the system when it blows up it can also affect the system or the computer not to display there are several problems or several things which will enable display problem in each computer but today let's concentrate on how to make this Dell Optiplex 755 to display since we've actually find out that it's not displaying mark that the light which the system is showing isn't correct it actually has to show a green light here but we find out that it's showing an orange light let me off the system and open it
Now look at the interior of the system. This is the power supply. We normally call it power pack. Then this is the DVD ROM. It varies. It might be a CD ROM. And once it's a CD ROM, you call it CD ROM. But if it is DVD, you call it DVD ROM. Then when it is DVD writer, you call it DVD writer. This is the hard drive. This is the RAM bank. So the first thing I, I have to do now is to remove the RAM to see if the system will beep. The RAM is DDR2 and the size is 2 gig. The range is 2 arrow times 8, PC2, 6400 and so on. Take note, you have to disconnect the hard drive. The information is stored on your computer. Now I have to power the system to sh see if it will make a noise. That is to see if the computer beeper will beep to show me that the RAM is faulty. And let me connect my power cable and on the system. Still, it's not showing any sign that the system is red because the light is still orange and the system is not beeping also now what could be the cause of this problem we've tried the RAM still the system shows that orange light and take note that on Dell systems once the orange light appears the system won't display we've troubleshoot the RAM to see if the problem is from the RAM. The problem is not actually from the RAM. So let me off the system and check if the problem is from the processor. Because I have checked to know if the capacitors in the board are faulty. As you can see, the capacitors are okay. And there is no fiscal sign of injury on the board. So let me disconnect it from the light, lose the heatsink to see if the processor is faulty. Don't mind my screwdriver. Normally, when you plug the system to the light or the computer to light, when you on the system, the processor will be heating to show actually that in a way it is working then there is no sign of any heat on the processor so let me off the system and change the processor to know whether this yellow light will disappear this is a computer processor This is an Intel processor which has Core 2, 2.4 GHz as the processor speed. So let me get Core 2 processor. So 
let's try it with this processor. This is a Core 2 processor also. Let's see if the problem is from the processor. Take note, once the light goes to green, we will say the system is in good functionality. Look at it. The light is still orange. And the processor is not heating. So what could be our next option? Since this orange light is still showing on the system. And I told you earlier that once this orange light shows on this Dell system, the system won't display. So we're actually looking for ways to see if this orange light will turn to green. And once it does so, we'll, we'll say that the system might display. So let me off the system, put the old processor back, and we'll try the power pack to see if the problem is from the power pack, that is the power supply of the computer. So let me try another power supply to see if the green light will come up. This is an ATS power pack. So it has this and also auxiliary. So once I want to test the system, I will have to get a power pack which has this auxiliary and this connector also. This auxiliary, the yellow wire is 12 volts while this is ground. And also the, the colors here in the cable has its own voltage but gradually we will explain those color of the power pack. I have with me here a power pack which has the same auxiliary that we, we, I talked about. Look at the auxiliary. They are the same. So let me try the system to see if the orange light will change to green. And I will power it and then we'll see if the light will change to green. Then look at it. It has changed to green. And now the processor will be heating. And the system also is making a sound. So you have to remove the power supply immediately so that the processor won't burn. So I will now have to replace, to put back the heat sink so that it will be a coolant to the processor. I have to tighten it back. So let me lose the power pack. That is the power supply of the computer. So we we'll replace it with the working one. Since we've found out that the problem is from the power supply of the CPU, that is the computer.
So now I have insert the RAM to the system. Then let me connect the DVD RAM and the hard drive cable. That is the SATA cable with the power cable of the hard drive. Then let me power the system to see if it will display. And take note. Let me on it and we we'll actually see that green light showing. So when system or the Dell system shows this green light, in a way we might sense that the system is ready and that it will display to the system, to the monitor. I mean. So now look at it. With this green light now, the system has displayed. And we find out that the problem is not from the RAM, neither is it from the board or the processor, but it was from the power pack, that is the power supply of the computer. So in most cases, when troubleshooting display faults of system, we have to put these things in consideration, something like power pack, the processor, the RAM, the motherboard, even CMOS battery most of the times might cause system not to display. So in such cases, you have to clear the CMOS battery, that is removing it from the system and power the system to see if it will show. So with this now, we've actually troubleshoot this system and find out that the power pack is where the problem lies. So thank you for watching this video and once again I would like you to subscribe to my YouTube channel thank you so much